Hey guys, welcome to another video where I'm going to be doing another tier list, so two days in a row. This time I'm with Tommy Seabricks. Um, My name's Jeff. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do the Harry Potter sets this time, rather than the Star Wars UCS ones, uh, from 2018 to the most recent ones, 2021. In fact, some of these aren't even out yet, so we can only have, you know, only so much judgment on those ones, but we can, we've basically got most of these sets anyway, so it should be pretty good. Um, we'll start off with the Quidditch set though, and I know you don't like this set at all. No, um, bottom tier. No, I see. I actually really do like this set um, because obviously it's only thirty-five pound retail. It comes with five hundred pieces and I believe six minifigures, most of them exclusive. And you can buy two of these sets, which is what which is what I've done for seventy pounds. Get a thousand piece Quidditch Stadium and a bunch of minifigures as well to go with it. And you get all the towers with all the houses as well. It's just unfortunate that you have to buy two of them. Um, yeah, don't like it. Um, no, so you're thinking the hate tier. I mean, I'd, I'd probably put in dislike. I don't hate it because I see the appeal. Yeah. But I don't like I just don't think it looks very nice. I think it looks too empty, especially if you're only buying one. And I don't think buying two is also the solution, considering you'll have the exact same minifigures. Yeah, uh, you're gonna have to spend a little bit of extra more money on the more flesh tone heads, or something along those lines to try and get you know a full Quidditch pitch. And also the towers aren't high enough. Yeah. You know, it, it, there's so many problems I see with this set. Yeah. Um. So I personally do like this set, but because you're a dislike, we'll meet in the middle and compromise on indifferent. I guess. Um. I guess. <laughs> yeah. So next we got the Hogwarts Express. Um. I think we're both agreement that this is the best Hogwarts Express they've ever released. Um, yeah. It also comes with, I believe, six minifigures um, and 800 pieces, so the price-to-part ratio is there. I think it was around 75 quid when it was released. And I do love the set because of the train station. We get both Platform 9 and 3 quarters and then the Wizard and the Muggle World version as well. And I believe the Lupin figure in the set is still exclusive. Um, I may uh, be wrong on is, that. Yeah. yeah. No, it is. Um, still, ex still exclusive. The only thing, only reason I don't put it in love is because mm -hmm. it doesn't come with chat uh, track. Yeah, I suppose it would have increased the price though at that point, and maybe uh, Hogwarts Express is such a mainstream. You know, everyone's going to want a Hogwarts Express, whether you're six years old, eighteen, or forty-seven. Um, and I think it's probably best to make this as cheap as possible while still giving us a you know a respectable train. And I think they've done that. Um, yeah, I think it'll be a great investment, but I agree. I'll put it in. I, I might have put it in love, but we'll put it in like. Um, then we've got the Great Hall, and I adore this set. You know, you get ten minifigures. It was actually the first. Of the I think it was the first Harry Potter set I built from the new revamp, the new twenty eighteen waves. Um, it's too small. It's not detailed enough, <laughs> and the tower isn't as tall as I would want it to be. Yeah, I mean, I think that generally speaking, I think the tower should be a lot taller um, because it does look a bit stubby. But I think the fact you yeah. get a variety of minifigures, the the basilisk it comes with is a disgrace. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so generally, it's a disgrace. But um, it was pretty expensive. I think. I think as I th well. it, for, for ninety quid, which I think was the price. Yeah, it was ninety. It was ninety quid. Um, it's a good set. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> the, the 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 shit people say about it though is stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it's an overall great set, and I think it's definitely worth investment as well as oh, building uh, the the set itself. It's like you say, it comes with ten minifigures. Like yeah. if it was a Star Wars set, it would be like a hundred and forty quid. Yeah, and it's still on sale today as well. I, I'm guessing this and the Hogwarts Express are about to retire though. Come June first, but. I can never be so sure. Um, you think in love tier, or maybe just like? I'm gonna put that one in love. I, I like okay. that. I, I wouldn't quite say it's a door value, but because no. um, it's still a set which um, mm -hmm. I think could be improved in many ways. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good set. It's definitely one of the top tier sets in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So coming on to the Whomping Willow, which is a direct I'm extension. I'm gonna put that in the hate. I hate tier, really. Yeah, it's too, it's such a bad set. Come on, it's a wall, a tree, and a car. 
But you could just say the same about the Quidditch set. Oh, oh no, you just yeah, like the and I don't set. like that one as well. well. Okay, you can say the same about the Hogwarts Express. Oh, it's a station, a train, and a bunch of figures. It's no, like, I, I guess it's a, it's a very small section. The only of thing I like about the only thing I like about that set is Filch. That's the only thing I like about that set. But where's Mr. Mr. the only? Where's Mrs. Yeah, Norris I, I, as well? Yeah, I didn't like I say I didn't say I didn't say uh, I like Filch and Mrs. Norris because she doesn't fucking exist. Hello. But like I do, I do like uh, the Filch figure. He's a good figure. Comes with good leg printing. Comes with exclusive like leg, leg printing as well as um and the hair piece as the, well. The, the the yeah the the figure itself is um, exclusive to that set alone, and um, we we haven't seen any. In, him in any other set and the 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 car we've seen in fucking two other sets i think at well this point. to be fair the car in the set is different than the one in four private drive mm. and obviously in the which other is, sets as well um which is still which is still stupid i do actually yeah. prefer the car in this version the tree is pretty cool but i mean this wasn't meant to be a standalone set i don't think this is meant to be an extension that you can put onto your hogwarts um great hall and you do get um, Snape's classrooms, the potion rooms, and the dormitory as well. Um, and I think an hour it comes with. But yeah, like I say, it is just a wall, and half of the wall is empty because it's you know where the car goes through. Personally, this is an indifferent set to me, but I guess we'll put it in dislike because I think you're um, you really do hate this set. Uh, we'll, we'll put it in dislike though. Uh, we're coming on to this set. We got the Forbidden Forest set. Um, this was a very cheap set. I think it was. Let me just double check the price. 12. Yeah, it was, it was twelve ninety nine. Yeah, I thought it was closer to twenty, but yeah, twelve ninety nine. I'm gonna put that in indifferent because I don't like it, but I also don't dislike it to shit. Yeah, um, I mean, the spider could have been better, but there's not much you can do for twelve quid. Yeah, I think personally, I think it should have been a thirty pound set personally, but um, yeah, you know, just to give him give him the justice that I think he. Uh, he deserves, but we've talked about this on multiple occasions. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like it, don't hate it. Yeah, we've talked about it in the uh, just uh, Let's Talk Lego episode we did as well. I'll put that in the description below. But the I think the back of the spider, the, the hump part, should have been printed, like the 2010 version. And the fact this was released near 20, uh, 10 years later, and we've gone backwards in that regard, as I think is a bit silly. Also, the tree, to me, uh, doesn't look too great. I agree, I'll put it in a different... Um, there's no unique figures either in this set. Um, but then, coming on to a set which you haven't built yet, I don't think, no? Um, and uh, no, I have not. It's the I, I quite, I, Hogwarts. I, I think... Does it deserve a door? I mean, it's mm. a great-looking set, but it's not one that jumps off the page for me. Um, I think it, it does. I think, <laughs> I think it does. Because it's, is it just because it's big that it deserves the adore? With that, the, I it think it? that's its that's its aim though. You're building this um, to put on display. And it's meant to be a statement piece. It's meant to draw it's the meant attention. To be the equivalent in the room. of the Falcon. Um, like <laughs> if I put it this way, I, I love Diagon Alley, but when people come over to my room or my house or whatever, um, they're both in the same room. My Diagon Alley and the Hogwarts. Everyone is more attracted, they see the Hogwarts and they go, wow, that is pretty cool. But you don't get that reaction with Diagon Alley for some reason. Yeah, um, I think it's because it could be perceived as multiple different sets connected, whereas that one, you can see that as one full set. Yeah. Um, but personally, I'll put it in a door. Um, obviously, the figures we get in the set are just the founders of Hogwarts, and I do think um, in a few years they are going to be I think they're still pretty expensive now, but I think they're going to be a hell of a lot more expensive down the line. Well, cause... you say that, but with LEGO reusing all of their faces in every single set, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the figures as a whole, though, are always going to be exclusive. I can't imagine any Harry Potter set which they'll come in. Unless they want to give us like another Bricktober pack and give us the four Hogwarts founders. Oh my god, Can you imagine? imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'd put it in a door personally. Um, but uh, then we've got the diagonally um, gift repurchase set. Uh, I believe you got this by spending thirty pounds or more in the uh, Lego shop on High Potter stuff um, during two thousand eighteen. It's one of those ones which I don't like and don't hate. I'm going to put it in indifferent. Uh, 
Yeah, I put it in different or dislike. I mean, I liked it because I got it for super cheap and now it's worth like a hundred pounds and it's got a sixty quid minifigure. <laughs> but as a set, it's just it, you put it on your desk and I guess it's pretty cool. But it, I don't really have any strong feelings with the set. I agree. I'll put it in indifferent. Um, now onto a set I really do like, and I, I was going to say called... I'm going to. It's not the Graveyard gonna... Jewel, is it? It's the Rise of Voldemort, it's called, yeah, the Rise of yeah, Voldemort. I, I'm going to put it in... I, I would put that in love as well. Um, mm -hmm. I, I really like the... I like the minifigures that come with it. I like the build. The build was fun. The, the play feature, you know, it's it's there. It, it's it's a decent one, but it's not... Uh, it, it doesn't, like, inhibit the set in any way. Mm -hmm. um, Five minifigures as well. All yeah, I was going to say you could technically class the statue as another minifigure. Oh, sure, um, yeah, it's got all the parts. I would say so. And uh, overall, it's a great, it's a great desk piece, great set. The only thing that I don't like about it is that Harry has got the wrong color jacket on. Oh, so you prefer the red to be a dark red? Rather yeah, than... yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said that, I said that in my first ever video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was this your first and, ever uh, video? Yeah. My first ever video was a review of that set, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I stand by that. I still think that it should have been dark red. Mm -hmm. The film is so dark that um, the the jumper may have been a lighter red, but because of how dark the film was, when it was on screen constantly, all you saw it as was a dark red uh, jacket. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think of the cup, though? Because I do prefer the one in the CMF series. Um, no, I, I think that cup is the best cup. The brick built one, yeah. Yeah, I, I I I have tried to build a better cup myself, and trying to build a, I've only done it once, um, and it's using a part that doesn't exist in the color at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've built a minifig scale cup that is that size. Um, yeah, and I think with all of Lego's pieces and techniques the cup that we get in that set is the best looking cup out of all of them the 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 the, the calendar one's crap in my opinion it's just too big it looks nice but it's too big mm -hmm. and the one in the cmf is not nice enough <laughs> yeah yeah um, correct size doesn't look nice give us a, give, if they had given it us in trans blue mm -hmm. and printed on some like metallic or something like that it probably would have been great yeah um but for a cmf accessory i think it's by the ass yeah I believe this set's essentially doubled in price as well in the aftermarket. Um, I wish I've got more of these. Well, I've Doesn't surprise agree. me. I think it's the only set you can get Voldemort in at the moment, right? Uh, I believe it is, you know. Yeah, the Voldemort figure is exclusive still on that set as well. Um, you can get him in a CMF, obviously. But... Yeah, but even that's retired, you know. It's yeah. a different variant as well, so... Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the... Oh, the Wormtail figure as well, such an improvement from the 2005 version, which of this yeah, set. Yeah, and, and he's exclusive and as well. Are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great set. Uh, then we come on to the advent calendar, and personally, I just don't like advent calendars as a whole. To me, I get the advent calendar, rip the figures open, then throw all the parts in like a box and just... Yeah, I do the exact same thing, but I must say the figures in that one compared to the figures in the Goblet of Fire one... Mm -hmm way better than um than the goblet of fire one in my opinion you get more in the goblet of fire one but you get uh yeah i think um we got i think we've got six in this set we get harry ron hermione harry and ron being with the christmas jumpers, christmas jumpers. On. Yeah. then we get dumbledore and mcgonagall which i don't think was unique because we didn't get them in the great hall set. yeah you got them in the great hall yeah and but then, like the harry ron hermione figure the flitwick is unique great. though i think at the time I think it still is that variant of the figure. I think it's still unique. Um, and we also get... No, we actually get a golden figure as well, don't we? Like the statue piece. Yeah, but I don't count that. I, I, I really don't. Like, it's... Like, where is that ever in the film? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the same, but it is a minifigure. Like, it's got all the parts to a minifigure. Um but I believe the accessories in the set weren't too great. I do prefer the accessories in the in the next set, but I don't think the figures were as strong. So I'd probably agree. I mean, I would you put this in indifferent then or? Uh no, because I think it still counts as a dislike because the rest of the builds are just god awful. Yeah. Okay, so going on to the next one, we got Bobat on carriage. Um, I said I got the other day. Oh yeah, you did, didn't you? Um, no, I wasn't too much of a fan of this set. It's, I think it retailed for £45 as well, which 
I looking at I it, it like doesn't it. look like it's worth that. Uh, I, I like it. I think it comes with the is it the new horse molds, the ones with the bendy legs? Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, it from, comes with the new yeah. wing, the new wings from Buckbeak. Um, the carriage itself, it seems to be in minifig scale. I like overall. I like the set. It comes with three exclusive, no, four exclusive figures. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna count that as a as a as a like for me. I think that warrants. You know, it's it's no general grievous starfighter. It's not. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's not so overpriced to the point where you're like, why am I'm I buying just, this? I'm just thinking for Harry Potter standards, though. Because um, generally, Harry Potter sets are better value for money, I think, than the I would Star still Wars say and... it's in the like category. I'm I'm, I'm I'm half tempted to say that, yeah. It's, uh, so I would put this in dislike, but I guess we can put this in like. I mean, the Hagrid figure should have definitely come with the clock tower because that's the... One oh, the only... yeah, I, yeah, I agree with you, but at least we got one, I think, is yeah. the... Uh... Um, but I love how the... The carriage as well can be it's got two floors basically you can display it in that way and that's how i display it you can take the roof off and like flip it open which is pretty cool yeah and i'm guessing to hold that amount of students it does have that sort of bigger on the inside kind of um yeah uh magic that it they basically use in, folds in... all in inside so yeah. yeah and it opens up um but, but this is a set as well that's going to be mostly a female kind of set i'm guessing as well but yeah, I could see that. I, I I would have put it in dislike or indifferent, but I, I could I you probably convinced me that I'll put it in the like category. Um then we've got the night bus set and I do um, love this set. Yeah, I'm 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 half tempted to say that uh I love that set as well. It's going in the uh it's going it, it, there, yeah. I actually own three of this set. <laughs> um Um yeah, I own seven. I, <laughs> But six of them for investment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I own three of them. I've got one built, one I'm using for parts for my mock, and one I've got to invest. Because yeah. uh, every single night bus has doubled in value. Um, I, I'm not going to say I adore it, because there are definitely some improvements that I'd make to it, hence oh, why I'm making a mock of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there are actually new parts coming out later on this year that I actually want to put on my night bus oh, okay. um, my, my, my night bus mark which i'm really excited for mm-hmm. um can't wait to try that because i think those techniques are going to be cool um they actually i think it's a new wheel coming out this year at the speed champion of the line so oh is it um, going to be the black one but purple maybe no no it's the I, I think they have a new style of wheel i'm not sure because we haven't seen any of the sets built yet but i'll i'll get more into that when i when those sets come out yeah <laughs> yeah i do love this set. i did review this along with the other two i don't think you were too happy with my uh, conclusion in that video which no. one i prefer <laughs> no because you're just wrong <laughs> but i do still love the 2019 version even though i do prefer the 2004 version better um, I'd agree. I'll put it in love as well. You're getting 400 purple pieces for it was what 35 pound retail. And a... I got it for 20 quid. Yeah, 20 pounds. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> that's why I bought all of them. I saw in the shop. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just about to ask why have you only bought two then? A third 20 pounds. What I'm guessing, yeah. No, I, was... I bought one when it first came out for about 30, for 33 pound on sale. I think it was yeah, yeah. when it first came out, and then I saw them for 20 quid in Tesco's, yeah. and I was like. Cool, I'm going to buy all the ones they have, and they only had two, so... Ah, that's a shame. You should have asked if you had more in the back or something. Um, so, hi, yes, I want to clear you out of night buses. <laughs> uh, next, we've got the clock tower. Now, I don't think you've built the set yet. Um, I don't know if you're planning to, though. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to put this in the indifferent. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't I don't like it, but I also don't hate it. It's a good it's a good expansion set, but there are so many improvements on it and it's from a specific film which I don't really care for and actually quite dislike. Um mm-hmm. to the point where I'm like I would only be buying this set to expand my Hogwarts. I wouldn't be buying it for any other reason. Yeah. <laughs> it does come with it's, a lot of unique figures as well, but I guess they're all like all from the film that Yeah, they're all seen from it. <laughs> It's not even that. They're not even it's it's fe- They're all themed off a specific scene in the film as well. Yeah, of exactly. A, of a two or three minute scene, um, yeah, which is so dumb. 
I do like a lot of the pieces in this set, but I do wish the clock tower did have a swinging pendulum. Swinging pendulum, which, uh, by the way, one guy on YouTube, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, has done and modded the set to create that. And it looks oh, wow. so much nicer yeah. than uh, than the set. He's just using a power functions motor as well. So it could have been done from, from Lego. Well, we saw like, it in 2004. Well, yeah, it's, it's that odd, like... You could do the same as the 2004 one with like a hand crank and shit, you know? Mm -hmm. I do think it's a, just a good expansion for the set. Um, but just don't worry. You get as well. You get a hospital <laughs> wing as well, I think, which is quite essential, but no Madame Pomfrey. Uh, but I yeah, agree. Who needs Madame Pomfrey figure? We've only been asking for her for like 20 years. It's fine. <laughs> I'll put it on indifferent. Um, then we've got Hagrid's Hut, the. It's the only variant of Hagrid's Hut which is from the third film because all the others we've had are from the first and second film where it didn't have an extension because it's, it's like two little huts. Um, but I, I, really I like, like this set. set. Yeah, I like this set. I, I think it's... Even though it's a facade, which I kind of don't like, I uh, wish it had been like a full thing that kind of like opened. Uh, so maybe warranting a like a £10, £15 extension to just give us the rest of the bricks to finish off the buildings yeah i love the figures in this set the figures are awesome i don't why well, i don't like the fact that we get a harry that's in every single other set but the hermione figure well, is i suppose exclusive. It's, it was accurate to all the scenes he's usually wearing that outfit yeah yeah i mean um, and it's based off the scene, scene where he rescued because it's called the book beats rescue so yeah. yeah i i i understand that the harry is accurate to the scene i just don't like that they included him in every other set i think this is yeah. the only set that he should have kind of been in uh that on the expected patronum set but we'll get to that um mm. this set this set is awesome i like the figures i like new buckbeak i like hermione i like fudge uh, the executioner is a <laughs> i don't really I, I understand why you've included him but i don't really care for him <laughs> yeah uh we get hagrid even though it's the same hagrid as all the other ones and mm. the you know the ron harry and hermione are accurate it's, it's a overall good set uh, get a light brick in the set, I think, as well, if I'm not Yeah, mistaken. you do, even yeah. though the light brick... I don't actually like light bricks, and no. in my opinion, that are very uh, widely known across my channel, but I don't like light bricks. Yeah, I do wish it did have a back, though, but I'm guessing this is already the most, the most expensive Hagrid's Hot set ever, just in retail. I think there's retail for um, $60 or £50, which is quite expensive already. Yeah. Um, so I understand why but it's it didn't. Such, it's such a key location from the film, and I think you could have... Um, you know, I think you could have included references to other films. Like, you could have included... Like, even though the set's called Rescuing Bugbeak, you could have included Norbert. Yeah. Uh, or, like, some reference to Norbert. So you could you could put your Harry Potter Philosopher's Stone uh, figures inside the building, even though it would technically be inaccurate because, it's you know, it's not the single hut. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, having those options there for playability, um, which you don't hear me say very often, would have been nice. Yeah. They did that with the Great Hall. They included the Basilisk and Quirrell, which is like, you know, exactly. two different scenes. You don't mind. And they're doing something similar with the, um, what, the fluffy, the fluffy set um, later this year as well. So yeah. I agree they should have done it here as well, probably. But yeah, I do really like this set. Um, I hope, though, if they are going to re-ramp the Harry Potter wave and give us all the fundamental sets again, like the Hogwarts Express, the Hagrid's Hut, etc., that we do get another, like, Years 1 to 2 version. And the We'll have more pieces into the main hut, and hopefully we'll see a back to it as well. Um, yeah, I'd love to see another opening version, sort of down the middle kind of thing, Harry Potter 1 style. Maybe yeah. include uh, Aragog and Norbert, mm -hmm. and have Harry, Ron and Hermione and an exclusive Hagrid. It probably should have been films. a 20th anniversary set, I reckon, the Hagrid hut. Oh, prob probably, yeah. But I don't well, think I mean, I think... there was a Hagrid hut in 2001. No, I think it's one of those sets that they could easily do for 2022 yeah. if they retire that one this year. Yeah, yeah. Which I think it is retired, right? Is um, it retired yet? I, I know everywhere's I, selling them out, like, super cheap. I'm not too sure, to be honest, on this one. If I managed to get one. Not. I think it's yeah, not I... retired. I think it's still for sale. I, don't I mean, if that's the case, yet. I managed to get a steal on my one for 35 quid then. <laughs> oh, wow. See, I haven't invested in this at all. Um, I, I've got one sealed, just in case it goes, it skyrockets. In case they don't do another one. If they do another one, I'll just sell my one, because it'll come with the Hermione Time Turner, mm -hmm. which will be sought after. But, yeah. like, um... Uh, can we move on to the dragon one? Because I immediately want to put it in hate. <laughs> 
Uh, so this set is retired, um, and I do... So you want to put it in hate? I want to put it in hate. Like, the only thing I like about this set is, is the, the Harry minifigures. minifigure. Well, no, just the Harry minifigure. Just the Harry? Well, maybe the Cedric. This, I mean, the Cedric has leg printing as well. It's a pretty cool figure. I mean, I like all the figures, because the, the last one we got in 2005 was a great set, but we didn't actually get all of the four contestants, and we do that, and we do actually get them here. Obviously, the dragon sucks, in my opinion. The tail looks pretty bad, <laughs> Brad. The uh, the head just I looks think, like an I eagle. Think, it's not. I think the I think the Ender Dragon set looks better than this. <laughs> yeah, um, the, the egg looks cool, but we we lose the magnet feature that the two thousand and five version have, where you can like fly up to the egg and it automatically attach to his arm, which is pretty cool. Um, the tent is pretty bland, I'd, and I wish. Instead of the tent, we just got more of the arena, just like the rocks. So basically, I just wish we had a remade 2005 version of this set, to be honest. I, I think it's so much I better. I don't understand. I don't understand why we can't get a £35 version of this. Like, just increasing it by £10 would give you so much more to work with. 100%. Um, and I think you could have literally had the exact same figure selection, just literally putting that extra £10 or $10 into you know, 100, 200 more pieces, depending on how many pieces that's actually going to give you, um, yeah. would be in, would be incredible, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and it would do wonders for the set, like you say, including some rocks, get rid of the tent, put those tent pieces back into the dragon, yeah. give us a new molded head instead of a reused, uh, like, Ninjago one, or wherever that one originated from. Yeah. Um because it's not exclusive and it's not brand new for this set uh, it, it's a reuse of another another part mm -hmm. i think it's a fantastic beasts part actually um, oh, okay it was actually the eagle <laughs> fantastic beasts i'm pretty <laughs> oh, sure it is actually. <laughs> honestly so, the dragons uh, just suck so much um at yeah, least well, and especially when they do so many for ninjago yeah that look incredible like the dragons in ninjago actually look pretty good um but this dragon looks cute and it shouldn't be cute it's a hungarian horn tail it's got like a million like fangs and horns all over it it's the most vicious dragon out of the bunch and yeah it's a uh, quite a tragic set i must say at least a harry figure has you know addressed your issue which you had with the like the rise with of the Voldemort, dark red, yeah. with the dark red yeah uh, but... yeah which it's uh totally should 100 percent be in the, the rise of Voldemort set yeah i agree it should be in hate um, next we've got Expecto Patronum, and I think this now, is about I would, twenty. I'm going to put this set. in hate. Oh, in hate. Oh, I'm yeah, not sure I if I agree. I, I, I don't like this set. The trees. In fact, the whole build, if you could even <laughs> call trees, it that, is I... garbage. Is is literal garbage. But you the know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say. The, the only why. reason I bought this set was for the Dementors. I bought two of these sets oh, for the, the Dementors, Dementors, not the because I was going to say the Patronus Stag. The Patronus Stag is nice, and yeah, I've got I've got three of them now, and like, yay, I've got three Patronus Stags. But like, at the same time, this was clearly a set to be bought for Dementor army building yeah that's the reason it's like the reason it's so cheap is because of that and i would have much rather some form of like battle pack from maybe order of the phoenix or something like that where you get like two dementors or like a courtroom scene where yeah. you get like dementors and two other figures mm -hmm. or an accessory pack you know give us anything but yeah. this garbage build <laughs> the tree is pretty bad especially from behind i reckon um, this whole scene could have been an accessory pack probably um but if what... you given if you gave us a brick built dough which i know wouldn't have been as good but like hmm. um I, I give know. us the Give us a brick built stag and and give us the literally the same four figures. Don't have to give us the trees. Don't have to give us but the lake. We don't get quid, the nice trees. <laughs> uh, but actually, talking about the trees, even though they are pretty bad, I agree. I like the fact that every single tree that we've ever got in these new 2018 and onwards uh, sets are all different. And you could and say would, that's bad because it's inconsistency. But it actually looks really like cool when they're all together because I've put them all together in like yeah, the way I, I display I, it. And I, and I would give yeah. you that if they actually actually looked like trees. <laughs> um, I think the problem yeah. I have the problem I have with Harry Potter and the trees 
is the fact that they just don't look like trees. Yeah. Like the expecto patronum set. If you turn those trees round, it's a technic frame, which is really fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. Um the Gwarp set looks like a tree stump, but doesn't look like a tree. No, um the Whomping Willow, you can see ball joints all over that thing, and I actually think using the bonsai tree would have been a better Whomping Willow. Uh, if you I really like the tree us... in the Whomping Willow, though, to be fair. I don't. I think it looks terrible. Um, <laughs> I think the whole... I think trees... Why? Just, just move on. <laughs> um... <laughs> Just to say, though, just another rag on this set. This is by far the most overpriced Harry Potter set ever made. Uh, it's £20 wow. and only has 121 pieces, which is appalling. It's, it's less that... than the uh, than the Forbidden Forest set, the Aragog set, which is, and it's, what, nearly double the price? It's, it's yeah. that stag doing that to you, though, and you know that. I know, but like, oh, the stag is so nice. I do wish, I do like the fact we get serious black, but for goodness sake, like, it'll give us a serious black in normal clothes. We've never got one before. Um, but next I've got, got three of them, so it's fine. Yeah, you can make a custom one, uh, but I want an official one. But next we've got an advent calendar again. Um, obviously, the figures are, again, themed off the... Uh, yeah, I'm putting this one in hate. <laughs> so if you've already got the clock tower, you can you know make the clock tower better. But the, I do think the, the builds for this set are easily better than the first advent calendar. Obviously, you get the cut. I agree. Um, like the damn strong the ship, figures. the Bobaton yeah. carriage, and, and even the mini Hogwarts as well. The figures in the first one genuinely gave me a little bit of hype i actually quite liked the, the the figures on the first one even though now we've got a better dumbledore and a better mcgonagall mm -hmm. um those harry ron and hermione figures are still exclusive um whereas the figures for the um <laughs> the figures for the for the other one um this one I think mo mostly uh mostly in the clock tower set uh, um, I think three of them are. Uh, three of them are, are exclusive. I mean, I'm still. It's a terrible film, terrible scene. <laughs> Stop giving us Goblet of Fire shit, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think we give need us to just one, give us the one Goblet of set, no. set that we're asking for, which, is... which was the second task. Yeah. And stop. <laughs> I know. The, I think the Dome Strong shit would be cool as well. Or maybe even a, a third task as well. There's a lot of scenes in the Goblet of Fire they can redo, uh, but I don't think it's the Yule Ball. Uh, maybe give us three more Yule Ball sets and then leave it as that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, if they do another Hogwarts expansion to expand to this, I hope they do one that goes next to the Clock Tower so we can make our Yule Ball bigger. <laughs> because I just don't think there was enough Yule Ball stuff, especially with the Advent Calendar and the Clock Tower. Yeah, it's just yeah. not enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, We've got Attack of the Borough next, and I really love this set. Um, um, I like it. I wouldn't say that I love it. Oh, uh, okay. It's a great, it's a great standalone set. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it looks great in a display case, and it's a perfect size for um, for you know play sets. Um, mm -hmm. No, I'm happy to keep it in love. I'm happy to keep it in love because, like, looking at it, it's such a a cool build like the designer didn't hold himself back like it's actually leaning on one side isn't it it's like slanted and i love the way that he managed to do that um and we get a, a bunch of exclusive figures including that bellatrix the strange which is gonna go for a hell of a lot it only it only go only goes for 10 pounds and once it's retired properly it's gonna go for a hell of a lot more i don't think it's good as the one we got in 2010 because it doesn't have the leg printing um but it's still a fantastic figure in my opinion. Um, but mm. we get how many exclusive figures in the set? Seven. That's still exclusive, and it's a thousand pieces for ninety pounds. Yeah, I really love this set. It's it's much better. I'd rather spend ninety pounds on this set than the Clock Tower, even if I had oh, all the Hogwarts extensions. You know, I would. I agree with you there. Like I, I think it's on par with the other sets that are there as well. Yeah, and the way it opens as well. It's like a dollhouse, so it's. You can have it all closed up um, from all sides, and then you basically open the kitchen, and the kitchen is huge. Um, yeah, I, I love this set. Um, yeah, I like how it can be seen, but from a quarter angle as well, like a three-quarter angle. It's uh, yeah, 
you know, and you turn it around and it's all open in the back and yeah. everything like that. And you open it further and it's, it's it, the play features with the fire is nice. And mm-hmm. okay, I hate um, it. So, this obviously, we're just going to go to the door and then we'll move on to the, the next one. <laughs> I mean, you know that's not going to happen. <laughs> Put it in hate. So, obviously, you have a couple issues with this set. Um, couple? You you did throw it off a roof. Um, I did. So, is Forks going to see the same fate as this one? No, I'll think of something else. No, you're, you're going to drown the Forks <laughs> instead. <laughs> um, no, I, do, I don't think this set is as bad as you make out to be. Um, I think this one can go in hate and then Forks can go in dislike because I really don't like these sets. I think they're clunky. I think they're stupid. I think the stickers are bad. I think the price is even bad. I don't think it's like worth 35 quid. But we got just 600. We've got, we got 630 pieces there. I, I'm not, yeah, but I'm not saying that the piece count is bad. I'm saying that the set is bad and doesn't warrant the £35 that I'm spending on it. Yeah. It does come <laughs> up count. one of my favourite figures, though, from, like... Yeah, yeah, I agree with you, and I think that's the only reason that people buy this set. I yeah. don't think people buy it for a, a displayable headwig with a pole up its ass. It's not a <laughs> nice display piece. <laughs> Um, and I, think... I d- will argue with anybody that thinks it is. <laughs> so, so you don't like the wing mechanism either, no? No, it's clunky and stupid. <laughs> and um... I think Forks can go and dislike, because I like Forks more than the Hedwig, but mm. it's got the exact same building techniques as the as the Hedwig, and as much as I like the... Um... The Headbook's so much better as well, though, than the... Um... Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. As much as yeah. I like the new head, the new head and the new wing shape, and um, you the know the feathers on the end. Well. Yeah, it got no um, stupid sticker either. Yeah, no it stupid sticker. Like, it's definitely panels. it's definitely an improvement from the headwig. I still don't like it because it's going to be clunky. And unless they fix the mechanism, which I'm sure they haven't, um, <laughs> no. I, I I will be destroying it probably the same way. <laughs> that's fair enough. So. We have got the the biggest Harry Potter set ever in terms of um, price, which is Diagon Alley. Um, now, where are you I'm, tem- here? I'm tempted to put this in a door. I love this set. I know the minifigures aren't great, but then we've put you know the Hogwarts Castle in there as well, which the minifigures still are still not great on that on that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like the buildings. I really like the references. I like that at least some of the figures are exclusive and will clearly be sought after in the aftermarket when this set retires. Uh, I think it's a great investment set. And I also think that when you connect everything together, which there are multiple ways to do so, it looks like a great display piece. I Mm. also like the fact that you can look in all of the buildings and you'll see subtle references and they're not all the same building technique as well as... uh, you know, getting shops that we've never seen before from any uh, other Harry Potter set. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can also mirror the set, so put two shops against two shops and complete the pathway because obviously it's it's half done. Mm. Um, yeah. And I love that display style as well. Uh, I do think the minifigures are... I don't say they're just bad or okay. I think they are pretty good. It could be better. Um, but I love the fact we got an exclusive, like, um, box. Wait, I can't remember what it said on it. Um, it was like box number 24 and it gave us like a special stand with uh, Hagrid and Harry, which rumours are which they won't be Rumours are comes in the advent calendar this year. Yeah. So that's, you know, but we'll, you know, we'll reserve judgment until that happens because that's just rumours. Um, but you see, I, I've started to like the set more. When I first bought the set, I was pretty indifferent about it. I didn't like it too much but now i do start to love slash adore it um for all the reasons you said basically it's i love the fact that it's probably the easiest set to build with other people as well because you get four separate instruction manuals for each four um me and my missus built this set and we took two buildings each mm-hmm. and um you know it, it took us a good month to build it because we're slow at building but like yeah. At the same time, it was a really nice set, and it also comes with still exclusive uh, Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff Quidditch robes. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that the 
the Cedric one of Diggory them, book. Thing. Yeah, one yeah. of them's coming out in a book, but it still will leave the Ravenclaw one exclusive, I believe. Yeah. Um, I wonder how much they're on Bricklink, the Ravenclaw ones. Yeah, they're going to be crazy money when this uh, when this set retires and they don't do anything with that, which I'm still hoping for Quidditch Battle Packs, which I'm still yeah. hoping happens. We, we did hear um, a rumor about that, but I think that's been dispelled. Um, well, we thought we, we thought accessory pack, but the accessory pack this year is crap. So, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, we'll, we'll put that in the door. I mean, I'd, my temptation is to put it in love, but I think both of these sets are magnificent in their own way. Yeah, um, I think if you're only, it, I think the difference with the door sets is if you're gonna, if you can only buy one Harry Potter set, yeah. and it's gonna be in, it's gonna be in the adore category, and those two sets, you know, if you're gonna buy one you're not going to be buying the night bus it's a it's a great set it's a, you know fantastic set and definitely one to love but if, if you could only buy one you're not going to buy the night bus if you can only buy one you're going to be buying diagon alley or the hogwarts castle you well, know i suppose the comparison is because the hogwarts castle 350 pound retail you're either going to buy that or the hogwarts extensions because i think all the hogwarts extensions together cost around the same price as the you know the uc yeah i mean i know it's not a ucs but you know what i mean the micro scale hogwarts castle set so it depends mm. which one you want to go for obviously if you're kids you're probably going to go for the playset versions but someone like us too would easily go for the the big display set version um but onto another playset hogwarts castle um kind of scene we've got the astronomy tower astronomy tower um i'm gonna put it in indifferent with the clock tower i again again i think it suffers from the same problems that the clock tower does from one specific scene from not a great film um, um again yeah another bad film it's, i think it's from um, horn's party isn't it yeah um, it, it's yeah. why i don't understand why they can't just give us like they can they can base it on the the film don't get me wrong just don't give us like all from one scene and then that warranted having one of the figures be in cmf so like if you wanted to complete the scene you had to buy Ginny from the cmf and I, like i think the reason they do it because if they weren't based off themes with these extension sets there'll be so many repetitive figures that we won't have many I, unique I, and it makes I people disagree. think oh I'd... would you not because in, in all of these no, we I get disagree. like imagine harry, having ron, the astronomy like imagine having the astronomy like yeah you'd get ron harry and hermione and probably different out uh and probably like similar outfits to the ones that we've seen in the past but like, imagine having like a Boggart classroom, and that being in one of the uh, ex the extensions. Yes, it's based on the Prison of Azkaban, and we've had other sets based on that before. But we've only had a couple, and the Hogwarts Express uh, is based on the Prisoner of Azkaban, the Buckbeak, and uh, that's it. Or am I missing one? I feel like I'm missing one. But still, you know, having a Boggart classroom in in a, a big big set like the Astronomy Tower would also give you another exclusive um, mm -hmm. Lupin figure because he'd be wearing something different. Uh, it would give you another Dementor, which everybody's going to love collecting Dementors, so you can have like an army of them by the end. Yeah. Uh, and then you can get like obviously Ron, Harry, and Hermione in the relevant clothing. Um, whether it's whether you want to print another exclusive robe or not and then you could get like a bunch of other classroom mates that we like classmates that we've been wanting out of these lego harry potter the uh theme not just another like lunar or Ginny in another outfit you know <laughs> yeah people want to build their hogwarts army and <laughs> i agree um i think the build is you know, having, really nice though having is 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 what we need yeah I think you're probably right on the figures. I think the actual build itself, and especially the interior for this set, I think is gorgeous. Um, yeah, I don't get me wrong. It's a nice set. And like I say, I don't like it, don't hate it. I don't think that it's like full of problems, mm -hmm. um, apart from maybe the white window frames, um, mm -hmm. which I believe is on that set. Uh, yeah, I think that's a big out, problem. On the outside. Uh, yeah. I think, I think they're brown on the outside. Um but I, I'll have to double check. I, what I what I do know though as well is to give us some green tints to the roofs, which is a nice little gesture. Um, yeah, I agree. But yeah, I, um, I'd agree. I, I mean, I would have put it in like, but I can put it in indifferent. That's that's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I I think I think it belongs in indifferent personally. Yeah. Um. So private drive. Um. I do. I like this set. I wouldn't say this set. Yeah. Almost I love yeah, it. I, 
I, I like this set. It's a nice set. Shame again about the reuse of the car, but I understand why it's in the set. Um, Many figures are. I, I, I like. I like the fact that we're getting another Dobby figure. Yeah. Uh, it's not sad enough for me though. <laughs> for God's um, sake. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly this Dolby <laughs> figure I, I hate the face compared to, I've still I've still got the 2010 version that I just no I, I, I don't mind it I don't mind it I, I think it the looks teeth. nice it's the teeth you just look a bit off-putting they're so like <laughs> large and present on the eyes and ugh maybe I just don't like the way Dolby looks but the old one looked dead cute I'm glad it. they went with a plastic head instead of a rubberized one I think I think yeah, all of the I other ones have been all the other ones have been, you know, rubberized, and the prints come off, and it's annoying. And mm -hmm. I'm glad that we have a plastic one with decent printing. And I think the Lego's new techniques with these sorts of figures. I'm, I'm excited to get a Sad Dobby and <laughs> Deathly Hallows uh, Part One sets. <laughs> Hopefully, a knife coming out of the front. I'm hoping. Yeah, eighteen, uh, eighteen plus. Yes, <laughs> eighteen plus Mal Malfoy Manor with. Uh, yeah. I, says, I, I would put this in love, but the problem is I've I've had to modify this set um, to, to get it the way it is by using Potter Minifig Pals um, like her mock on it, which is basically just a road plate um, with some oh, yeah, food lamps, yeah. and I think that does um, make the scene a lot more recognisable, etc. Because otherwise, it just looks like a plain old house. Um, yeah, and and I would have preferred if there was some sort of driveway. I think yeah. that would have made like the. Because uh, I think that would have to put a sign as well, a private drive sign. So yeah, you put exactly. A road it's like a you can put it exactly. on the end of the road and stuff, and then people go, "Oh yeah, private drive." Yeah. Um, but the interior. Yeah. Is I, I think, cool, I think it's it. a yeah. I think it's a good place where you've put it there. Yeah, yeah. We'll put it in like. Um, now I'm. I really dislike the set. Um, People, let's be I would say, people are buying I this for the minifigures, aren't they? Yeah, I would. I would say that it's indifferent for me. I don't dislike it. I also don't love it. I think it's it's well, it's. See, I really I hate this set. <laughs> but, I, I mean, I I like I like the Gwop figure. I like I the centre. I, I, the back I, of it, the back of the Gwop figure is. It's no. I I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I see. I I hundred percent agree with you. But that's also not hard to modify. Um, like I say, I don't love this set. I, I like the I like the fact that he's included, and I like the fact that he's not a big fig. Mm -hmm. um, I like this whole buildable thing. We saw it first in Captain America Civil War sets. Yeah. Uh, with the giant man fig, um, which again I think really does need to improve. Hence why I built my own. Mm -hmm. But um, this figure is kind of how I would do it if I was if I was going to make a make a mock of this set. If I was going to improve that Gwop figure, I would probably use the same sort of technique. So I I see what the Lego designers are doing, and I don't mind the set at all. Think it should have been twenty five quid and not include the tree, but okay. Yeah, uh, it was twenty five quid. Um, I think. Uh, what, was it thirty? I thought it was thirty five. Uh, no, it was twenty five. Um, okay, should have been should have been a fifteen quid <laughs> set. And not a good yeah, um, the the figures on the set are fantastic though. Obviously, you get Umbridge, and I appreciate that the Umbridge figure, even though yeah, this is this is accurate to the scene, but they could have easily just given us the one that they used in the Bricktober pack, and it's the same with the Slughorn figures as well. I like how that Bricktober pack has remained exclusive. Um, I mean, the Bricktober pack is nice, but I do think that the the quality of the minifigures have changed in these sets compared yeah. to the Brickto pack, and you would be able to tell if. Uh, I think all they've all they've done really is update the figure. I don't really think they've done much to improve on them, mm -hmm. um, apart from literally just updating the line work because you can tell that they've changed how yeah. they do it. Um, so the brick the, the brick pack for me is like it, it's nice because it's exclusive but the only reason i think they would have done exactly that if they hadn't updated the way that they make the minifigure yeah with the thinner lines and stuff yeah. um the biggest so i don't think i don't that. think it's lego i don't think it's lego being a noble company that's like oh yeah we should give uh <laughs> you know a new, new new minifigures in this i think it's them just remaking the figure to match their other quality controlled sets <laughs> yeah. yeah the biggest improvement from that though is to hooch in the new quidditch lesson set it's such an improvement from the one in the bricktober pack new face print new hair print etc um, i actually prefer the one in the bricktober pack but i'm oh, sure we'll get to that yeah, yeah we will um but yeah obviously get two centaurs in the set 
I do probably hate this set because I think the, just the buildable things in this are pretty poor, such as the Gwarp and the Tree. But obviously you want to put it in a different... We'll probably meet in the middle. Probably just put it in Dislike. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you because I can dislike the tree for everything. And I'm like, I do think it's... Uh, I, I don't think, think it's on a level as improved. the... Uh, no, I completely game. agree. Um, but then we've got the Room of Requirement, which is another another cheap set. I think it was only £18. Yeah, I can uh, I can save you some time with this one. Put it in hate. Hate, yeah. I mean, yeah. is it hate though? I think the yeah, Patronus figures, the little, you know, are literally cool. the bunny and the otter are the only parts of this set that people are buying it for. Like, let's but let's be honest. The, what about the wall? <laughs> Or nobody's buying it for the wall, even though the back of the wall has a dis uh, has a has a play feature, which let's be honest, nobody's using. But it doesn't make any um, sense either, because in the in the film, the that the rules um, are on the on the yeah, wall on the of back the great, of great wall. wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the room of um, requirement. I guess you could argue that the the room of requirement can really turn up anywhere, but like. Um, but it's a, well, it's always on the same floor. Oh, is it? I, yeah, I thought it could move around. Um... I think the entrance yeah, I don't can like, I don't like, either side. I don't like the blue pieces. I'm actually reusing them for a Minecraft set at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like the figures. Yeah, they're fairly accurate, but I, I don't I like the figures. I think the figures are quite strong because we get like a, like a golden yeah, cake. But that's... Okay, so I, I, I'm actually going to argue that that is the worst part about these figures. Oh, okay. Because it's inconsistent because, compared to the others. Yeah. Yeah, completely inconsistent with the other with other. Um, but I think if they kept up that team. design, if they kept made them all gold from this point on, yeah, if they, yeah, I wouldn't complain. But because they haven't, <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, it, it's the only set where they are gold for some reason. It's like they accidentally picked the wrong color because it was next to the one that they were meant to be doing. <laughs> That's what it feels like on this set, and it annoys me. And also the 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 the, the dummy figure. Yeah. That doesn't have the like legs, but it has a torso and a headpiece. Mm -hmm. The legs themselves are so dumb <laughs> that it annoys the shit out of me. <laughs> the fact that I can't put it on studs, which either arguably is okay because you could put it on a tile, but nobody's buying this set for the you know the wall itself and to display it as part of this set people are buying it for the minifigures and the patronuses so the fact that i can't put this this mannequin figure in my display case of all my other minifigures really annoys me i've managed to make it work but i think i just lean it against the wall <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah. you know giving us some sort of stud connection you know i don't understand why that that's acceptable but bb8 can't it has to have a stud in the bottom you know i see what you mean yeah like that—that's what annoys me about this this set, and this set is a truly deserving of a hate hate mark, in my opinion. Okay, um, so the biting book. Uh, this was a. Uh, I like it. I don't. I wouldn't say I love it, gift but I like purchase. it. Yeah, I mean, I guess does this go in light? Do you think there's not really much to say about this? Um, well, I'm I'm comparing it to the Hedwig, and I think anything's better than the Hedwig, considering that it's basically part of the same sort of line. It's like an oversized uh set that's got some form of gimmicky play feature uh I, I think i think the book either belongs in like or indifferent i don't think it's a set that i love yeah I'll put it in but it's also, it's also way better than that hedwig figure it's a really good gift for purchase i think that's yeah this should have been used for that and that's what it was used for um but yeah we're on to the sets which well we can start off with these books i guess because we own these well you own most of these and um, do you own the ravenclaw one i think you do don't you yes i do i can save you some time with this one just put them in all hate for me <laughs> so we can only really we can only really have to talk about one so obviously these sets are very different and unique compared to all the others i is, think uh... it's such a curveball from lego for lego harry potter that it's just it does not make sense to me at all the only reason that people are buying these books uh like you and me are buying these books for the, are for the figures um and i think it's actually quite a scummy thing of lego to do to include these really really nice minifigures on a set that you know so they know people like here. you and me 
Yeah. Yeah. You, you, they, they know people like you and me are only buying these for the set, for, for the, for the minifigures. And I think it would have been a way better thing to include the same figures in something like a CMF. So I only have to spend three pounds on these figures instead of 30 pounds each on these books. If you think about it, it's 120 pounds for literally min, like all of these minifigures. Yeah. And this is the reason I haven't bought things like the, um, I guess the books uh, look clever on display though, with, you know, all closed up. I, but i disagree personally but um i i genuinely hate these sets and i don't like the morals behind them i as well as don't like the sets themselves the only thing i like is the minifigures but that does not justify it doesn't add a point to the zero out of ten i have <laughs> in sense. Yeah, yeah i i really do dislike these sets um there are some there are some are like better than others such as like the uh sprouts one better than like the ravenclaw one or the transfiguration one but i think generally speaking they're all pretty bad um, yeah, the real shit um so brickheads we'll go with the ones that released that are, you know that have already been released um i would love to, I, I would like to say that i would put them pretty pretty much all of them in like except hermione, the new surely the hermione i don't think hermione looks too great personally i would but i would probably put them all in like apart from the new harry ron and hermione hagrid one literally all of them Oh, this one goes in hate. Yeah, um, I completely agree. I completely agree. Why, All of the rest of them, in my opinion, should go in like. Why would I, they do I, this? Why would they give us, like, a... Because we've already got all these in Brickheads, and I know the argument is that these were released in 2018, and the aftermarket value was ridiculous. You've, you know, I think I spent about 90 quid getting them all, when the retail price on them were, like, 30. Um, <laughs> but... I, I understand that, but I just, I seriously disagree with the direction it went in. And they're all miniature, and I just think they look worse as well compared to, like, this This Harry in Hedwig is so nice, but this Harry here, with the new 2021 version, like the glasses. <laughs> oh, it just looks like huge eyes. Yeah, this one's staying in hate for sure, but I think I'd like, I really like the Harry one, I love the Dumbledore and Ron version, the Dumbledore, um, Brickhead is probably the best one in my opinion. Um, the Hagrid and, and uh, hmm, uh, yeah, I'll put it in like, and then I think this new one with Bellatrix, uh, Voldemort, and Nagini goes in like as well. Um, would you agree? I mean, with I, that? I, I... I would, I like I say, I would put all of them in, like even the Hermione one. Like the Hermione one clearly goes with the Harry and Ron one. Um, it, it looks it like the that, yeah. it, it. It looks like you know she comes with a book. It's relevant accessory. The only thing, the only diff, like she was cheap as well. She was only cost a tenner. Like mm -hmm. retail price was. Um, was it only a tenner? Like, yeah. Yeah, it was only a tenner, and oh, wow. and. Um, <laughs> You know the the brick headlines see them as a rip, pop rip off or you know however you want. Um, they're still making some really awesome ones, clearly shown by the Bellatrix, Nagini, and Voldemort one. But the uh, the elf style uh, Harry, Ron, and Hermione from the new one just got awful. And people people complain that you can't get Hagrid. You can buy Hagrid and Buckbeak from Legoland. Like if you go into a Legoland, they've got them in store for seventeen ninety nine. You can buy I'm them. Still because yeah. it's the same this book was obviously it was a gift of purchase but you could buy um this set at legoland discovery centers for 20 pound in the uk but there's yeah. not many around i you know it is still hard to find you can't just walk I, into I, the I, 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 I yeah. was yeah i was tempted to buy a Har hagrid and uh hagrid and buckbeak for investment uh i wish i, I wish i didn't open it my one well, I mean, I, I didn't think... When I saw it on sale, I opened mine because uh, I was like, uh, I'm not going to save this. So I'm going to build it and just have yeah. some fun with it. Um, I'm only I've, saying I've got all of my, uh, because all of my brick ones. heads. Yeah, I got all of my brick heads next to each other. Um, so. All built out of box, and it was annoying that I had the Hagrid and Buck Beacon box. Yeah. But I think... think so you're going to keep the new one sealed then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I am. Because I'm just waiting for them to go up in value. Yeah. Because so, I reckon they will, because it's three, and they're all decent brickheads. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. I think this is what people are kind of waiting for, you know? <laughs> yeah, the new 2021 sets, which none of us own, so we can't be too critical. But we've seen reviews on them at this point, because um, land members have built these sets and released reviews, and we're about to get them in a matter of days. 
Um, the girls' bathroom, I love this set, personally. I don't think it goes on the level of Diagon Alley and Hogwarts miniscale, obviously. But obviously, the minifigures for this set are the key. No one's buying the set standalone for any reason but the minifigures. So you can't have I brilliant. actually think I might buy this set standalone. <laughs> really? I but, have some opinions. and But for the minifigures, not, right? You're not going to like them. <laughs> Oh really? About this? Set? Yeah, I I like that. I like that set. I'm gonna keep it in the love category because uh, because of those minifigures. I think I am probably gonna buy three of these personally. <laughs> what to make a Across... big girl's bath? No, 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 not not. I'm gonna keep two for investment. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep two for two for building. So I'm gonna build one. Um, I'll keep one. Sealed. Probably probably keep. Uh, Probably throw all the parts in a bin for having the cool parts and the sticker sheet uh, for the other one, and just having the Crab and Goyle figures and the Hermione figure. Um, yeah. And then I keep one sealed for investment. Because um, it's. You get so many exclusive parts in this set. So many. Yeah. Um, for an and I, I think. Set as well. Yeah, this is what the rumor requirement should have been. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree. And. So glad that we've got. I'm going to put my Moaning Myrtle set in it, uh, my Moaning Myrtle figure in it as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, very happy with that set. Yeah. Um, so then we've got the Quidditch lesson set. I do like the set. It's not on the same level as the. I um, agree. It's very expensive though as well. It's. Uh, yeah, I agree. It, it, looking at to be fa- to be fair with the uh, room requirement set, this looks like it should be around the same price. It's got the same amount of minifigures. And it's you essentially just get a wall in both both times, but this set is what ten pounds more expensive. So I don't know where that's come from. Um mm-hmm. with this set is modular, it doesn't look it, but it you know, you can split it into different sections and there's so many alternative builds. It's it's like a micro yeah. set. Um Yeah. I, I, I like I like that about this set as well. And it seems like you can combine it with the other Hogwarts bit, even though you can't officially do that, it does seem like you can. Yeah, there's ten uh, pins to do so, yeah. Yeah, which is which is cool, and I and I like that idea. Mm. Um, I just don't understand how we got Draco and the Remember All with Neville, but with, with no Harry, which just doesn't. Com- and it's 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 not hard to complete Harry, especially when the set's already so expensive. Um, <clears throat> but I'll keep it in like um, the buildable figures. Um, I wouldn't say that I hate them. Um, it, it's just the fact that I, it costs I, so I, much money. It's... I see if what yeah, but I think the difference here is that like if one of them was for sale for sixty pounds, I would probably put it in the like category. hundred percent. That's um, like what I say in the video. This should have been half the price. Give us a just a Harry, um, and then give us an exclusive Harry figure on a stand, and then we won't be in the boat as well of oh, but I want a Ron figure now just to complete the set. But then at the same time, I don't because these are rubbish. <laughs> Um, I I agree. Yeah. I agree with what you're saying here, but I still don't think that that requires it in the hate category. I still I probably see it as indifferent because there are so many there are so many possibilities, but yet so many things to uh, so many improvements to make on, on on this set. But at the same time, I don't see it as a bad set. If you do the math on it, like one figure for sixty pounds is is not a bad price at all. No. Um, uh you know and i definitely see the appeal for it as well like i i am greatly interested in these figures and i think they should have maybe considering they're revamping the marvel wave started with giant man Mm -hmm. as one set for 60 pounds so we could get used to this whole giant minifig kind of thing and then it wouldn't have been so jarring when we saw it come into harry potter yeah um you know at least then we can kind of go oh it's giant man he's like the right size for a minifigure kind of thing and then when these guys came in like you say put that like plaque design with it give it a nice stand yeah do one figure at a time i see what they're doing i just don't think it works but i definitely see the appeal so i put it in indifferent yeah but obviously personally I put it in hate but i guess we'll meet in the middle again and put it just in dislike um but the we got the wizard's chest now uh, I, I, both like am, this set. I am tempted to put this one in a door in a door yeah. Really? I genuinely think that this set could be one of the best sets from Harry Potter. Oh, wow. How come? 
I I love the fact that it's a playable chessboard. Yeah, I love the, I love the fact that we get three exclusive minifigures, technically Four. exclusive. Um, well, I'm not counting the gold figure, yeah. but um, I I also think that the the build is really nice. The only problem I have is that America's get a better price than the British. Oh uh, yeah, it's sixty five pounds, but just sixty. I don't think. I don't think that that. I'm still going to buy it day one. I'm still going to build it probably day one. I love the designs for all of the for all of the pieces. I think they've done an incredible job for it being a playset. Yeah, it's not going to be a UCS chessboard, which I kind of did want. Oh, um, no, I didn't. Uh, all of them being minifig scale. I, I mean, I have that kind of like mock brain going off, going like, oh, yeah, that would be a really cool set. Um, mm. But... I, I'm half tempted to put this one in the door. I just can't see fault with it. <laughs> I think the problem is it is it is only a chess chessboard. It's not like amazing in the sense that the Hogwarts Castle or as detailed as the diagonally one is. Um, I think the chess pieces are pretty cool, um, but I w do wish they were actually proper minifigures rather than just brick built ones. And I think that obviously the detail on the outskirts of the chessboard is pretty lame. It's just a few candles on either side. It's not got a proper like thick border. The chessboard just kind of stops. Um, so there are some design flaws in my opinion. And I think the golden figure we get in this set doesn't make any sense being Snape. Um, I'd personally put this in like, but I think I think love is a fair rating for this. I guess I do really do, I do really like this set. Um, but yeah, we'll move on to the Chamber of Secrets. Um, now, here's where I think you're going to hate me. Oh, no. I've gone off of these sets. Why? I just don't think they look as good as something like the Great Hall. Really? Um, no. Even the, like, even the full combined one. I, 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 my, I don't know if I've just moved past the hype of them. But now that we've seen reviews of these sets, I'm kind of going, I don't like these as much as I like the expansions. Um, which kind of upsets me, because I really did like these sets to begin with. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll still get them. Um, but I'm, I'm genuinely on the fence, especially with the new Minecraft stuff, as well as the Marvel stuff. Being so damn good. Mm -hmm. Sets like the Chamber of Secrets... I would rather get the chessboard over the Chamber of Secrets, personally. Uh, I, I, obviously, and, I couldn't disagree more of this. I mean, you get a, a whole bunch of unique minifigures. I'm not really sure how many unique figures you get. Obviously, you get a glow in the dark Nick, um, Tom Riddle. The basilisk in the set is fantastic. We get good Roy Lockhart with the bronze uh, uniform as well. Um, I think we get just a Finch Fletchley as well. Figures, I don't think the minifigures are the problem with this set. I think it's more prevalent on yes. the fluffy set. Um, the lack of detail and mm -hmm. the uh, the sort of emptiness that this has. I think the Chamber of Secrets definitely does a better job than some another fluffy set. But I, I, I still don't know. I'm, I I'm, I'm on the fence. I wouldn't say the castle itself is empty. Like You get the obviously Gilderoy Lockhart's classroom, which is pretty jam-packed, and then his office above, which is kind of accurate. Um, to the films, obviously, obviously you don't have the little staircase part, but um, and this is based off the two thousand one version, of the, and I think they've done a good job of trying to replicate yeah, that as I, as much I, as possible. I agree with well, you in that sense. I yeah. agree with you in that sense. I think the castle does look very decent and very reminiscent of the two thousand and one one, but when you look at the quality control of the great hall and the astronomy tower, and you look at the builds. I, uh, I would argue that the builds for the Astronomy Tower and the Great Hall and maybe even the Clock Tower are far superior than the building techniques for the, uh, for the, new, uh, for the new Chamber of Secrets. And I know that's kind of half of like half the point because it's meant to be reminiscent of the 2001 sets. But at the same time, I'm spending £130 on this set and it's a bit like, yo, that's a lot of money to spend on some minifigures and a relatively boxy build. Uh. But 
when you think of things like even like comparing the great halls there are improvements compared to the, the actual great hall set such as like the golden head of a piece for the, the stand oh yeah like yeah. but that all goes back to detail and minifigs like yeah. the and it the, could be transformed the into the dueling club room and stuff i'm arguing about the um the actual look of the building itself like yeah. i think the play features of this set are, are phenomenal i think they're great anybody who's looking to play with this set should buy this set anybody who's looking to display this set is probably going to not find that they've spent their money smartly you know they're they're, they're not going to get the same satisfaction i think out of it that we think they will um I, I don't think viewing this castle from the side of the castle that's like all walled off is um gives you the same awe factor as something like the astronomy tower or the great hall like i personally display all of my sets like the astronomy tower and the great hall castle forward you know yeah. i don't i don't display it with all the play features because uh, I'm, not, I'm not playing with these sets I'm displaying no. them um, and I think from a display aspect the new Chamber of Secrets set is just not there for me and, and, and that's why I'm tempted actually not to buy it day one and actually invest more money into things like the Marvel sets which you know are great display pieces as well as like tailoring more towards uh, play and display rather than just play, which I see a lot of these Chamber of Secrets being tailored to just just towards play, with fun nods to the two thousand and one ones. Yeah. Um, whereas I think the build quality has dipped slightly, <laughs> which you know might be tough to hear, but you know. Yeah, I'd hope I'd hope you change your mind if you do. Event, I'm okay. guessing you'll eventually I get this set at some point. I genuinely hope that I I'm I'm completely wrong, and when I build it, I love it a bit. Yeah, and you never know. I might go into the Lego store day one and just be like, "Fuck it, I'm here. I'm gonna buy it." Yeah, but I I think I'm pretty much gonna walk out day one with a chessboard, and that's it. <laughs> genuinely, and and the girls' bathroom. Sorry, like that's genuinely what I think I'm gonna buy. And then I don't have to spend another 130 quid on a set. Like, like the, the, it's not high on the list of priorities, which is is, is disappointing because I think it was meant to be a very big and very grandiose set mm -hmm. uh, to build hype around everyone. And I don't think it's done this job very well. Okay, well, obviously, very interesting opinion. Personally, I'd put this in love, um, easily on the same level as the other sets we've got here, such as the girls' bathroom and the chessboard. But again, we'll probably change our rankings to watch we've bought these sets and built them um me included as well now we've got another set which you don't like as well um, no I, I dislike this set i don't hate it but i dislike it um, um okay i i think i genuinely think the buildings look nice i like the build for the for the for the lamp uh I don't think it's a very necessary set, and I only think the reason this set even exists in the first place is because next year we're going to get a Shrieking Shack. I'd hope so, because I obviously prefer if this set was the £120 set instead, obviously. Yeah, this set said. Is, yeah. Like I say in my video, this set should have been... Because this is £70, right? If this, if one of the minifigures of these two buildable ones was the £70 set and this was the £120 one and gave us like a third building, so it was essentially like a quote remake or you know playing on words of the diagonally set we got in 2011 where we got the three buildings we got the shrieking shack as well i think that would have been probably the best selling set of the entire wave even more than the timber secrets um i, I really yeah, like I this set but i guess we'll put it in a different since we have conflicting opinions on this one um but yeah we get uh, i think all the figures are unique as well in it um i don't know if the harry is actually but, no, um, Harry's not. No, I mean, all the others are, though. Um, and mm. I think it should have come with Cornelius Fudge, though, and not someone like Dean Thomas, because then it would have completed the scene where Harry goes and hears about his godfather, and it should have come with an invisibility cloak as well. But they're only minor things. Um, but lastly, we've got a set that I hate, but I'm not really too sure what you think of this one. The fuzzy I encounter set. Less I'm liking, I'm liking it less and less every time I look at it, which yeah. is kind of annoying. Because I enjoy the 
I enjoy what it's trying to represent as a remake of that, you know, through the trapdoor set. Um, I think it's necessary to have if you're building the Chamber of Secrets as well. Um, like, I think it's just a build that you need to get yeah. alongside it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I absolutely think that this set is not worth the price. <laughs> no. Um, uh, I think Fluffy's bad. I think the castle's bland. I think the the what was it the the you've got the half as well as two yeah. tones. You've got the fact that the trap door um, in this configuration it shows here doesn't actually lead anywhere because it's at the ground floor, um, and you've got the devil snare to the side on the same level, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And if you wanted it to display it in that way with the devil snare below the trap door then you've got the balcony below on the bottom floor underground with the random roof piece off to the side which you can't use at that point so it's it's the execution is pretty bad the fluffy like you say is horrendous i think the heads are, are cool i like how they've all got different facial expressions um i think a lot of people do dislike the heads but i don't think they're that bad i think the actual build for fluffy the brick built part of the body is where yeah, it starts where to be bad. Is, yeah. yeah, especially at the pores, and I think the even the, the top of Fluffy, where you have those big grey um, hint like like connector pieces. Um, yeah, especially because they do them in black as well. Yeah, like they do they do them in black. Yeah, it's an extended pole, but anybody who ever seen my mock of Fluffy um, at the more accurate scale, they could have used those pieces. And obviously, there are def there are definitely different techniques they could have done to make these heads more accurate. Uh, well, to make the heads and the top of the body more accurate should should really say. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think it's I think it's an okay set. I I definitely think it's a better thirty five pound set than something like the Gwarp. Yeah, but um, I I I don't think it's um. I don't. I still don't think it's on the same level as something like the books or the brickheads or the expected Patronum set. I definitely think it's better than those, but I, I don't see it being on the same level as something like the Astronomy Tower no. or the um, or even the Quidditch pitch. I think this uh, the Quidditch pitch is technically better than this set. Oh, 100%. you know. So I guess we're both agreeing with dislike, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, I I genuinely dislike this set. I'm I'm not. I'm still gonna buy it. Yeah. I'm, I'm me. I'm I'm still gonna buy it. Um. Yeah. And maybe it's better than I'm thinking it is, uh, and the pictures just don't do it justice. But <laughs> you know, we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah. So that about rounds it up. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, make sure to listen to my last uh, uh, tier list video, which was a UCS Star Wars one that I had zero on. So uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye.